Okay, so how does magnetic levitation work? Well, let's take a look at my digital whiteboard and we'll go over some of the basic fundamentals of magnetic levitation. So let's take a look at this image here from energy.gov about magnetic levitation. So this is a maglev train, right? So as you can imagine, um, it's about levitation and magnetism, okay? And, if, and what you'll find out, especially as you get older here and dive deeper into engineering is that magnetism and electricity are closely related and so there's even a word for it and they call it electromagnetism okay and so that's uh just a, a point of reference for you let's get back to how a maglev train works and runs okay so here's the levitation piece here on the left okay so if you know anything about magnets remember there's typically a north and a south okay a north and a south side if you will uh the north the like sides repel as you see here so if these two, they could potentially be south as well and they would repel each other, right? And then opposites attract. So a north would attract with a south. So if we have our train which sits in a little groove or a pocket, if you will, at the bottom mounted to this groove is typically made out of concrete, you will have the north magnets here. And then on the bottom of your train, you also have north magnets and they repel each other with a strong enough force that this train actually floats in midair, if you will. Okay, so that's the levitation piece, okay? Uh, and we won't get too deep into the physics of it, right? But that's how it works, right? If you've ever played with a magnet, you've seen that uh, in, in real life. So over here to the propulsion side, so this is how does the train, so over here the levitation shows you how it stays up and it creates uh, pretty much zero friction, uh, mechanical friction. Uh, but how does it move forward? Okay, so we use the same principles here of magnetism Okay, so in that pocket. So this side right here is the same as what you would see here or over here Okay, same thing, but within that wall they have also magnets right electromagnets Electro meaning that they're powered by electricity, right? Um, and so what it does is it changes this electromagnet changes the poles uh, the poles meaning it switches sides, so it switches from north to south very rapidly. And then on your train, you also have north and south magnets as well. And what that does is, is so here it pulls it, right, north and south, right here would, it, would attract, and so it essentially pulls the train this way, right? And this north here, with this north, actually pushes it. So it's a push and a pull that's kind of happening at the same time, right? And so now imagine if you did that along the entire length of this train, you would get movement uh, in the forward direction, okay? And so that's how that works. And you can do this very fast um, because it's electricity moves at the speed of light, right? So you can change this, mag this, uh, this magnetic field very quickly, which then pulls this train forward very quickly, okay? And so, um, that's basically how maglev trains work again you have the levitation piece right which keeps it above uh the track which means that there's no friction which makes it uh easier to pull along um but then you also have the propulsion piece which pushes it forward okay and this happens on both sides of the train okay we don't see that other side but it's happening there too so it's essentially pulling and pulling the train through the track at a high speed and that's exactly how magnetic levitation trains work and if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this look more deeply into it you can check it out on energy.gov there's a, a very good write-up on it um, and I, I would suggest you take a look at that so that's it that's how maglev works and so that'll be a key point to remember when you're building your trains and that's how it's connected to uh, Wakanda and so it's one of those technologies that definitely is gonna play a part in our future and so it's very good to understand so I'll see you in the next video